Six people are facing assault, harassment, and other charges after a brutal attack on a former Aliquippa football star. Pam Serrano is live with what police say happened. Pam? 22-year-old Arrington Bo Gibson was an all-star on the football field here in Aliquippa. Earlier this month, he was brutally attacked and slashed in the face here in his hometown. Now, sources close to the investigation think it may have been in retaliation for an attack Gibson was charged with a few months earlier. A brutal attack here at Wade and Meadow in Aliquippa left 22-year-old Arrington Bo Gibson bloodied and badly hurt. According to a criminal complaint, Gibson was surrounded while inside his car in the middle of the street late in the evening June 4th. A group of people, according to police, dragged Gibson out of his vehicle, viciously kicked and cut him with a knife across the face. Gibson, who is a former starter and captain of the football team at Aliquippa High School, was Went on to play for the University of Delaware and later transferred to St. Vincent College, but never ended up playing there. According to an online report by Western Pennsylvania Wildcats, a developmental football team in the area, Gibson is also a nephew of Pro Football Hall of Famer Tony Dorsett. Gibson did not want to talk on camera today, and neither did his father, who is the principal at Aliquippa High School. Charged with assaulting Gibson are a group of young men and women. That they are 19-year-old Amir Perry, 19-year-old Javad Tyson, 26-year-old Richard Lowe, 22-year-old Thomas Marcus Perry, 24-year-old Rashanique Lowe, and 19-year-old Ramiri Lowe, as well as a juvenile, all from Aliquippa. According to police, Gibson's face was severely swollen. He told police he was jumped, punched, kicked, and slashed with a knife. Sources close to the investigation say the attack may have been in retaliation for an incident in April in which Gibson was accused of assaulting a woman and taking her against her will into a vehicle. Now, those charges against Gibson were later dropped. No word at this time on what his future football career will hold. And that group of seven people, none of them are in custody at this time, but the Aliquippa police say they are committed to finding them. We're live in Aliquippa tonight. Pam Serrano, KDKA News.